Hey guys, how's it going? My name's Taylor and today I'm going to be showing you how to make this title right here in Adobe Premiere. Uh, it's pretty easy. Um, I just kind of was messing around a little bit because I hate the, the gamer style intros that are like 3D text flying around and there's lights everywhere and there's dubstep. I just think it's super obnoxious. I think everybody should just have a clean intro. Clean is so much better, simplistic is so much cooler, and I think this is something that you can just kind of add on to the beginning of your vlogs or your gaming videos or whatever it is that you do, and I think it looks pretty cool. Um, you can definitely change the font and stuff to make it look, you know, more your style or more your uh, personality and stuff. So I'm just gonna jump right into it. We're gonna add a new title, default still. I'm just going to name it Taylor because that's my name and I'm just going to drag out a text box from this little box to this this whole little box I guess type out my name Taylor and I'm going to change the the font to something a little more like cursive a little more cursive as me I guess let's see okay so I like this one Boulevard St. Dennis light I think that's the one that I like so I'm just going to make that a little bigger, center it, make it a little bigger. Not too big though, because you, uh, you don't want to like completely, uh, cover up everything. So I think that's pretty good right there. That's a good size. Just exit out of there and then drag in your title and place it wherever you want it to be. I have an idea of where I want it to be. Um, I want it to come in around the one second mark. So I think I'm going to put it back maybe eight frames. So I'm going to start it right here and then I want it to end around five. So I'm going to put it forward about 10 frames, eight, 10 frames, whatever. Just clip it off, delete it. And then we're going to add a couple effects to it. So the first effect is a blur. Just go ahead and type in blur into this box right here and scroll down until you see directional blur. Go ahead and throw that on. And then we're gonna start working, instead of working on the timeline down here, we're gonna start working on the timeline up here. So just kind of go to the beginning, turn the opacity to zero, and we're gonna turn the direction of the dire, uh, di the direction of the directional blur to 90 and the blur length to about 250. And then we're going to add keyframes push it forward until we hit the one second mark, maybe a little bit past it. Um, and we're going to drag the blur length down to zero and then drag the opacity back up to a hundred. So let's just see how this comes in. Let's see if we like this look. I think it's kind of cool. I think it can look better. Let's go ahead and change this to uh, auto bezier, audio, auto bezier, auto, whatever that is. Um, Let's watch it again. I think that looks really good. So then we're just gonna go, we, we kind of zoom in and then we're gonna wait a few seconds. Let's wait until about like halfway through the third second or the second second, I guess that would be. And then we're going to add another keyframe for blur length. We're gonna go forward a couple frames, a little bit further maybe change the blur length to 20, go forward a little bit. And then we're gonna copy these, control C and then just control V, go forward a little more, control V again. And now let's watch this from the very beginning. So we come in and we zoom in, zoom in a couple times. And then we wanna end on zero blur length so that we stay back on you know what we started with let's watch it again zoom in a little zoom 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 and then at the very end we're actually going to zoom out as well so come back a few frames and then add another keyframe go to the very end and change the blur length to 250 as well as making the opacity, add another keyframe to the opacity right here, and then go a little bit forward and change it to zero. So I didn't make these line up 
perfectly like I did in the beginning. I actually made it start to change the opacity before it zooms out. I don't know, I just, I just thought that it looked good when I did it before. So let's start from the very beginning, see how it comes in. Little zoom and then you zoom out. So one thing that I found that you can do is if you want to, you can actually change these so that they're a little more spaced out. So let me show you that. So like here and then here. Well, let's look at how that looks. I actually think that looks a lot better. I think it looks a little cleaner. Um, before it was kind of quick and now I think it looks pretty cool. Um, if you want, you can drag this back a little more. Just kind of mess around with it. Like like everything in my videos, it's just messing around for yourself. You can't just take what I have and use it perfectly. But if you want to, I am gonna include a link in the description below for you to download this. Um, just kind of mess around with these right here. Open it, open up the effects panel, mess around, make it your own. Um, and if you would like to use that, all you have to do is come down here into your project, double click on the title and change the, the text. Unless your name is Taylor too. In that case, I guess you don't have to change the text. So if you guys like this video, make sure you subscribe. I think I'm going to do some more of these that are just kind of helping you guys out with YouTube stuff, you know, Instagram stuff, if that's what you make is Instagram videos. So thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next video.